Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I have a new layout up for Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2016 June kits for this. My first layout with these beautiful kits. And I was inspired right away by these Project Life cards. I love the colors and I love those arrows and the circles. And this week the theme is all about dads for Father's Day. And so I printed out this series of pictures of my husband and our girls in the pool. And so that's gonna be the focus of my layout. And I picked out these items that I wanted to use somehow on my design. That Oh Happy Day frame is from Jilly Bean Soup. And there's a pack of those different little frames in one of the kits. I can't remember which one off the top of my head, but I wanted to tuck my picture strip into it like I have there. And this is sort of the basis of how I want my page to go. I want those circles kind of peeking out to the right and do a lot of mixed media on top of that big four by six card. So I'm gonna come in with some clear gesso here and just go ahead and prime my page because I'm gonna wind up using a lot of liquid. And I want this to go down first, and so I'm gonna make sure it's straight, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape and get it down because I'm about to do a lot of watercoloring over it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of gesso on top of it, and this is white gesso. Um, I don't know why I went with white after I just used clear. I didn't really wanna fade anything out. I guess that's just what I grabbed. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I wanna create a lot of flowing water look with the watercolor here. So I added water first after I let the gesso dry. And this is some of the new shimmers that come in this month's color kit. And this is a beautiful pink shade. It's called Pink Stilettos and it's a colorings. So it's a flat color with no shimmer. And you also get this one in the color kit. It's pretty orange and it's called Mandarin Mai Tai. It's also a colorings. And so when you add water first on your page and then you add some splatters or some sprays of the inks, it automatically starts to flow around like you can see here. And I've got a lot of water going on, so I can just tilt the page and it's gonna run all over the place. So if you try this, you wanna make sure your colors, you know, they're gonna blend together. So make sure you don't use, you know, like red and green because that's gonna create a brown mud color. So you wanna use colors that when they mix together, it's still gonna create a pretty color. I also added in another color that's for my stash. It's this pink here, and it's called Pretty in Pink. And it's just a little bit different shade. It's more of a hot pink, whereas the Pink Stilettos is a darker pink. And I just wanted some different shades, and so I brought in some of that. And I'm just kind of splattering and adding water and just kind of letting it run together and create its own little shape, I guess you could say. And I am using a brush just to kind of guide some of it along. But I want it to look natural and look kind of messy. And you can see some of the spots there on the right where I missed with the gesso. And it makes a huge difference. You definitely do not want to try this with this much water without gesso. Or you may want to use um, watercolor paper. But this is just the white cardstock that comes in the cardstock add-on. And so to toughen it up, you definitely want to add some gesso, whether it be clear or white, because it's going to rip the paper if you don't. And it may not rip your paper, but it's going to get really soggy, and you're going to have to be very, very careful with it. So I like where this is going, and um, I'm going to not use that Project Life card for journaling. I'm not going to write on that, so it didn't bother me that I'm coloring over some of the lines. I'm mainly using it for... A design element and you can see here how much water I've got on the paper it's it's kind of puddling up and when I use my heat gun it blows the water all over the place and this takes forever to dry so I kind of use some of the heat gun and then some of this napkin here to kind of dab it up but I love how that looks I love the shape I love the mixture of the colors and I'm just gonna keep playing with it and adding to it to give different sh uh, different shades here and there and I like the way that the orange blends in with the pink I think it just creates a really pretty bright look. And even though this is a Father's Day-ish tribute, there's still pink on my page because, you know, I have girls and there's two girls in the pictures and so I think it's fine. Now I've got this completely dry and I love how that looks. I love that I've got the contrast with all the blue going on in the pictures and then all that pretty pink behind it. 
So I really didn't feel like I needed a lot of blue in the background since I've got tons of blue already going on in my picture. So this is some vellum from the cardstock add-on. Did not use tissue paper this time. I used some vellum and I'm going to wind up bringing in some navy blue here. There's lots of navy blue in the kit this month. And since this is a dad page, I thought I would darken it up slightly by adding a little layer behind the pictures of this navy blue. And this is one of the Jen Hadfield Everyday Papers. And I don't want to make this layout too dark, so I'm just going to have a couple of hints of the navy blue. And at first I didn't know if I liked it because I, I like the light and airy look of, of the light pink and the bright colors. But the more I do, the more I like it. Now this was a test. This is a, a navy blue shimmers that I have in my stash. And I thought, well, what would happen if I added some navy blue? And so I tested it right there in the middle and right away I said, ooh, no. So I dabbed it up and you can't even tell that I did it. So I did it right there where the picture would cover it anyway. And in my mind it looked pretty, but in reality it just was too dark and it looked kind of black and it just looked too dark. So I've added a little bit to the left there. I'm going to use those Jelly Bean Soup Bean Board Alphas. And my title is going to wind up being, It's What He Does. And I'm going to bring in some other stickers to add in the rest of the title. But, um, you know, I'm, and I do add some journaling later and I just talk about how great of a dad he is and how lucky we are to have him and um, how awesome he is with our girls. And so, you know, I just, that's what he does. And so I thought, you know, that's what my title is going to be. But I'm going to play around. Now those alphas, I love how they look, but <laughs> they you really have to dig to find the words you want. Oh, yeah, I gave those puffy stickers a thumbs up because they are amazing. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but the, uh, the main kit has those puffy stickers, and Kim Watson designed those. And they're, the colors are so pretty. I loved them. Those are my favorite parts this month of the kits. So I'm going to use that little speech bubble that says terrific, mainly because it's the perfect blue. It matches my pictures perfectly. And I'm going to add that little camera in. That's from the Becky Higgins um, die cut pack, and I believe that is in the Project Life kit. These pink stickers are Simple Stories, the Sunshine and Happiness collection, and those are in one of the kits. I think they are in the embellishment kit. So there's my title. It's what he does. And I don't think I've glued down those letters yet, but I do want to jazz up this little frame here. And so I want to use orange since I've got a lot of pink going on. I'm just going to take some gelatos and kind of add a shade of orange around there and add a little bit of water with my finger. It was just too white, so I didn't want to cover it completely, but it just needed a little bit of jazzing up. And you know, I never really realized, but orange, there are, a, it's like purple. There are a ton of shades of orange and a ton of shades of purple. And I can never get the exact orange that I'm ever looking for. So I have to kind of mix and match with gelatos sometimes and sometimes watercolors to get the right shade of orange. And it's still not the perfect shade. It does not match the, um, the shade of orange that's in the Project Life cards, and, but that's fine. It's close enough. Now I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the bottom of the letters just to give a little bit of interest to those. I didn't want to cover them completely. So I'm just dabbing my little water brush there into some shimmers and giving it a little bit of pink shading. I did this last week with gelatos on some of those uh, chipboard Bella Boulevard words and just smudged it with my finger. So this was kind of the same idea except I used the shimmers. So I'm loving how this is looking. I'm going to go ahead and glue all of that down. I added all my thread in that I wanted to. And then I decide, okay, this left side is kind of boring. So let's add some more color to this. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did over on the right, starting with some water and then adding in the splatters and just kind of recreate that same pink watercolor look over on the left. And I'm going to overlap the uh, the card there and that's okay I want it to look kind of messy and I did some stitching I don't think I pointed that out but off camera I did some navy blue stitching around the perimeter of that four by six card just to kind of separate it a little bit from the background and make it a little crisp and so it doesn't bother me that I'm kind of the, the water is leaking on top of it I wanted it to do that I like the way it just kind of looks like I don't know 
I guess you can't call it water splashing because it's pink, but kind of the same idea. I'm never really satisfied with the mixed media. You know me. I do a little bit here, and then I come back with the ink, and then I do some more, and then I come back. When something dries, if it doesn't look bold enough, I'm just going to come back and forth and add some splatter here, add some splatter there. And that's just how my brain works. If I see something that needs to be done, I'm just going to jump to that and do that. I did add a little bit of blue splatters over there on the right, above and below the picture frame, or not the picture frame, the picture, the pictures. Yeah, the film strip, whatever. The series of pictures, what is that thing called? Strip of pictures, hello, my brain stopped. Now this is from, I think last month's color kit, the Ginny B Blue, was that last month? And so I am gonna add a little bit of blue up at the top just to kind of create a triangle because I've got all that blue on the right, then I've got the terrific sticker straight across on the left, then if you go up, I'm gonna have a little bit of blue. Now the one thing I regret here is for whatever reason, I that's what it looks like if you don't add gesso. Do you see how it's kind of seeping into the page? I don't think I reached that part, or I didn't add enough gesso because I added so much blue, it literally felt like my paper was going to rip. So I had to be very careful. And when it dried, it was fine, but I had to leave it alone for a while because I added so much to it and there was not enough gesso on it. So I'm going to add in some orange because that little corner just looked neglected and I'm just using my gelato there since it's more of a match. But in the end, it kind of, you know, I add stuff to that area so it's not something that stands out as something that doesn't match perfectly. And I love layering different things like this. I love coming in over the watercolor with the gelatos. It just adds such great shading. And, you know, you want to add just a tidbit of color here. You can just smudge it on and blend it in. I'm going to add in one of those Simple Stories brads on top of the camera and then come in with some of these die cuts. And that's actually a, a green. It looks kind of yellowish on camera, that true life, true story. That's from the Becky Higgins pack. And then that's a Maggie Holmes rubber charm or rubber piece up at the top that says together. And then this is a Simple Stories phrase sticker. And it's orange. And I mainly love the colors there. And, you know, I mean, they say together, good times. They all say appropriate things. But I also love the colors. I also use that little hashtag, has my heart. That is a chipboard sticker from Heidi Swap. And then these are the Paige Evans Fancy Free Buttons. There are a ton of different manufacturers on this page. I think everything is from someone different. Now, with that button, I do want to add some thread to the middle of it. It just looks kind of unfinished, and so I want it to look like I stitched it down to the page. So I'm just going to snip off some matching green thread and take some time to just kind of weave it in and out of the circles just to kind of create. And you can't even really tell from here, but up close you can see it better and then some green thread under it. And then I added a lot of lines here. I'm gonna add in my journaling and just talk about my husband and what we think of him as a dad. I added in this last little bit underneath the journaling, a paper strip, a puffy sticker, which is that uh, scalloped border, and a couple of, wait, no, one die cut and one sticker. And then I'm gonna add some pink because that's the only color missing down there some thread, and then another sticky brad from Simple Stories. And I think that's going to wrap it up. It's almost finished. Yeah, this to me, this kind of looks different than what I normally do. But, you know, that's just how the design goes when you're inspired by a piece and you go with it. That's just kind of where the page takes you. And I like it. I like how it turned out. There's the final page. I love the colors. I don't know. You know me. I have to have bright bright colors and I think I have to have pink and aqua. I didn't use yellow this time. I'm, I'm shocked, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products or any of the, the kits or anything. Um, I would be more than happy to answer. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back shortly with another video. Hope you have a great day.